My name is Jamie D'Souza, Product Manager for Video Edge and Victor for Market Dynamics. Thank you for joining me. One of the many features in Video Edge and Victor Unified Client is point of sale or POS integration. This is a very important feature for applications such as retail where POS systems and exception reporting data are commonly used. With this feature, data can be imported into Victor to make investigating quicker, easier, and save hours of time. You can easily correlate POS data with video to obtain visual verification or combine with video analytics rules to obtain enhanced results such as shopper conversion rates. Point of sale is just one more example of why Video Edge with Victor Unified Client is one of the most powerful and intuitive video management systems in the world. This is a typical exception reported in an Excel spreadsheet. The report has columns about the information relating to each transaction with a time, terminal, date, transaction amount, and employee ID. The transactions are grouped by store and employee. This exception report was produced by an external exception reporting system. By reporting the exception report into Victor, we can associate each transaction with video and then use the video to investigate and view each transaction as it happened. To import the exception report, choose the build ribbon in the POS section. For the report menu, choose Import Report. Use the file picker to select the exception report file and click Open. When setting up reports, we need to tell Victor what type of report it is. Once we follow these short steps, Victor will be able to recognize the type of report and the next time it is imported. Click the Next button. The first step is to provide names for each of the columns. Click Next. The second step is to define the mandatory column. Victor needs to find the date, time, and terminal ID of each transaction. With this information, Victor can associate each transaction with its video. Click the Terminal ID column and drag it to the Terminal column box. Do the same for Date and Time columns. If both date and time are the same column, drag it twice, then click Next. At this step, you can optionally define the types of the other columns in the report. Again, this step is optional, but will let Victor properly format the other columns. At this point, all that's left is to name the new report type and set the import options. Type a name for the report provided in the text box. There are two import options available. The Customer Filtering option allows you to sort or filter imported transactions based on whether a customer was detected at the terminal at the time of the transaction. Customer Filtering is based on the Video Edge Video Intelligence Engine. The other option is POS Time Offset. This allows you to adjust for any time difference between the POS system and the video system. Click Next. The report has been imported and the summary of the import has been displayed. This shows the number of transactions either imported or discarded and the reasons why. A transaction might be discarded if it's for a different POS store or on a POS terminal that has not been configured in Victor. Now click Finish. The imported transactions are displayed in the table at the bottom with the same columns from the report. Several additional columns have been added. The Customer Present column indicates whether a customer was detected at the terminal for that specific transaction. The Reviewed and Notes columns can be used while investigating the transactions in the report. In this case, we can see that no customer was detected and we can see that there is no customer at the terminal. When we select Next Transaction, we see the customer was detected. You can play the video and use all of the Victor investigation tools when looking at each transaction. You can use the review column to indicate that you have investigated these transactions and you can add notes to each one. This data will be saved when you close the report. When looking at all of the reports at a later time, all the notes are available. For more information, please visit www.americandynamics.net.